Hello, hello, Max here. Today we're building an archery backstop, which I've never done before. Recently just started getting into archery, and I really mean started. I only just bought a bow and some arrows and took a quick lesson. Um, but since we've got the property out here, one of the things I've been wanting to do is put together a nice archery target or two. So uh, my buddy Mark just showed up and we just got back from Tractor Supply and we purchased, what, six hay bales, right there. So we're gonna get those unloaded and uh, build ourselves a little archery backstop. It rains a lot out here, so we gotta think about how to build these so that the uh, elements don't destroy them. Uh, so I've got a couple of ideas, so here we go. Well, if you went there, we could shoot up from there. Oh, I just need to level it. Yeah. Pick up some rocks or sticks or something. Yeah. Now, is there any reason why we wouldn't want to just put it all the way up there? Um, it allows more time for the arrows to fall, so it won't oh, go. That's a really good point. Too far back? Yeah, because a lot of them then will be impacting here. Yeah. As opposed to going where they shouldn't go. And you still got quite a ways to go. Well, what's the distance there? 10 yards. That's still 10 yards. Feet. Range finder. 20 yards. 20 yard mark. All right, so that's one of our big pallets that we're gonna put the hay bales on. And it's obvious on a little bit of an angle, so we're gonna to have to level that out. So that's our first step. <laughs> Alright, now we're doing 40 yards and I'm just going to be lucky if I even hit the hay bales. <laughs> there we go. So basically what I was telling you is I'm aiming here. Okay. To get that. I think that's an outlier. Oh. Uh-oh, you missing an arrow? Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> out the back. It's mostly out the back. <laughs> um I think so. it's this one right here. Oh look at that man, 40 yards. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. You're doing good. And my grouping is fairly decent. Yeah. And you just without oh. You had two flyers, so to speak, um, mm. but you're adjusting. I am. All right, Mark is going for 
60 yards. Have you ever shot 60 yards before? Nope. That is a ways out there. Uh, is there a target back there? <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Heaven's sakes. Good. Make sure you don't hit the Johnson's dog. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. You hit it. Yeah. I feel like maybe three. I'm just aiming for the center of the target. I mean, of course you hit it. I had no doubt. That's crazy. They're still going through. <laughs> They're still going through after 60 yards. Oh, shit. 60 yards, and your arrows are penetrating. There's yep. one of yours. We're just going to have to build that oh. second layer. Yeah, yeah come back here. The grouping is not bad. <laughs> the only way to see the grouping is to look at the back. That's really good. Nice. That is a good grouping. That's a great grouping. Dude, at 60 yards, that's crazy. Fuck. You suck. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I should work a little harder. <laughs> so, this arrow at 60 yards had that much. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It went all it the way through. through the hay bale. Because we heard it hit. And ended up right there. We heard it hit the hay. You did, you did <laughs> not miss, dude. It went through. Yeah. At 60 yards, it went all the way through and went there. All right. So, we'll call you the penetrator. <laughs> the penetrator. We'll put you in backwards. <laughs> okay, so after firing a few shots here, if you hit in between the bales, the arrow will go straight through. And, uh, and then you damage your fletching. So, Mark, what's your bow poundage? 55. He's got a 55 pound bow shooting from 20, from 30, and his arrows are still. Actually, even without hitting in between, his arrows are going all the way in, uh, all the way up to the fletching. But I just shot one from 30 yards with my 45 pound and it went clean through because it hit in between. So we're gonna put a second layer of hay bales back behind there to add additional friction. All right, so we doubled up the hay bales now. So you've got three tall and two deep and we're gonna give that a shot. And Mark had a great idea of slightly elevating the second row up so that the spots between bales don't perfectly line up. So if an arrow goes through the first set at the, at the junction, it'll hit the second set at not a junction, basically. So hopefully that's gonna give us a bit more stopping power. And Mark keeps asking me to do the 60 yard shot. And I'm afraid I'm gonna be terribly embarrassed. But I'm going to do it anyway, because how else do you get good? All right, I'm going to go do it. Yeah. At least I'm on the cardboard. So Mark and I are talking about the fact that at 60 yards, his two of his arrows on a 55 pound bow still penetrated all the way in here, even with two layers, to where we had to take apart the hay bale target to get to them. Uh, so your idea was to take some cardboard and maybe layer it back here? Right. As many layers as you can evenly. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do that next. 45 pound bow, my bow was totally fine, but uh, his, his 55 just like still went straight through. So success though. We got the tarp here to protect it a bit from the rain. We got the straps to kind of keep the pressure down, compress, keep it from tipping over in the rain and wind. From killing Timmy? From killing Timmy. Got it off the ground just for a moisture barrier. And uh, you killed Timmy. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so I think for the most part, the archery target is a success. Um, probably spent about a hundred bucks just on the hay. And then, you know, I had the tarp laying around and uh, the pallet was left over from a, a different thing. So $100 really was what I spent for this. Um, the only real failing of this target, as you know, after having watched this video, is 
if your bow is say 55 pounds or more, even if you're shooting from 60 yards out, those arrows potentially are gonna lodge themselves and get lost in the hay bale. Um, I still need to figure out a solution to that. So uh, I do like the idea of maybe putting some extra layers of cardboard in between the two bale layers. So I'll probably do that, maybe do a follow-up video on this. But for now, pretty stoked. It's worked out pretty well. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.